is happening. My gays, the weekend lovers. You might be asking yourself right now, Scott, why are you wearing what looks like a condom on your head? To which I reply, well, I'm just trying to hide the atrocity that is underneath this. I haven't done anything all day. I'm just laying around, being a bum, wearing a coat-like thing as a shirt because I'm too lazy to put on a real shirt. Yeah, it's that kind of day. You know what? It seems like every Wednesday I'm like, you know what, guys? It's just been kind of a blah day, so I'm really sorry that you got stuck with me. But I hope that you're not sorry. You know what? I would show you how drab and sad it looks outside right now, but I don't want to make you depressed too, so you're just going to have to look at my face for the next three or four minutes. Or you can change the channel. Whatever you want, really. So I had a really good and long chat with our Monday Ryan today on the phone. He's like my Oprah. Whenever I have a problem, I just go to Ryan. And most of the time, I don't know if I can really take for serious what he's saying because he is, um, you know, an insomniac. And in fact, seriously, I talked to him today at like noon and he hadn't been to bed yet from the previous night. It's crazy. I mean, we all know he's busy, but I mean, he's gonna die. I'm really worried. So what do you think I should do today, guys? Should I read my Kindle? Should I watch Friends? Should I listen to Britney Spears until my ears bleed? That'll never happen. Should I watch The O.C. and pretend like I'm a 16-year-old teenage girl? Again? So how was your Valentine's Day? What did you do? Did you get anything exciting, anything fun? I had to work. So, nothing exciting happened over here. So, um, yeah, I just basically hung out with my dog last night. We made love and everything. Not really. Bestiality is wrong. I'm just gonna get straight to the questions. Brian and Daniel want to know, what's up with my V- my V-Day? My Valentine's Day? Um, I just told you. Ryan wants to know if I have a Tumblr account. Yes, I do. And I actually used to put, like, movie reviews and music reviews and all this kind of stuff on there, but I don't have time for it anymore. Or actually, I kind of do now. But I better figure out what I want to do with that first. Don't follow me on Tumblr yet until I figure that out. I will let you know. Roland wants to know, is my life different now than I originally thought it would be? Um, completely. Completely different. Like, 180. Um, you know, I, I figured by now I would be in L.A. or New York, or still living in Austin, doing theater... Or some, it's not, it's not that I'm not happy where I am now, I am. I'm just, you know, life takes you in several different directions. The currents of life take you and put you back and take you, I don't know what I'm talking about. Miles wants to know, how do I occupy my time when I'm alone? Um, I read all the time. I, um, I work on little projects, little side projects here and there. Like, they're really weird. Like, I like to write. And so I write stuff, and I have like, this file of ideas pretty much on my computer, and sometimes I'll pick one up and start it, or continue it, and um, I don't know, I take my dog out on walks frequently, I just love being out in the fresh air, even when it's cold. Uh, oh, I clean all the time, like I'm crazy obsessive, guys, you have no idea. Like if you could see my place right now. It's unnecessarily clean. Like, I don't know why I do it. It's like I'm always preparing for company that never comes. It's really strange. But it gives me, like, peace of mind. It calms me. I don't know what's wrong with me. Oh, I almost forgot to wish Corey Marandola a happy friggin' birthday. Happy birthday to you. Just imagine that, you know, I'm in a white sequin silvery dress. And I'm Marilyn Monroe. And now it's time for Ask Scott, where you can ask me anything in the comment section below, and next week I'll pick three to answer. Yeah! <laughs> Seth Struck 8 wants to know, how would I react if I was recognized out on the street? Um, this actually happened to me a couple times. Once when I was in LA, I was at a nightclub, and this guy came up to me and said he was a big fan of mine from Gaze of the Week and Ryan's music videos, and I was totally taken aback. And I was, I don't know, it was so strange. And I was like, I love you for recognizing me. <laughs> and then um, one time while I was working over in Lawrence, Kansas, this guy came in with his mom. 
and he was like giving me all these weird looks and then like the next day he found me online he was like I so badly wanted to tell you how much of a fan I was but I couldn't because I was with my mom and she doesn't know I'm gay and oh, it was just so cute. <sighs> Mythbusters1399 wants to know how do I do my hair like this. Seriously. I'm not kidding. Um, actually, I haven't done it really today at all. Usually when I do my hair though, I wet my hands just barely so they're almost not even dripping. And then I go like this. And then I just run it through and I find it until it falls perfectly like I want it to. It could take anywhere from 10 to 30 seconds. And then I go freeze it in place. Works every time, like a charm. Mr. Intense 11, who I've actually answered one of his questions before, but he's just so goddamn good at it, wants to know, what is more attractive, arms or abs? Um, arms. All the way. I mean, I'm not going to complain if you have both, <laughs> or one or the other, but arms are very, very attractive. Okay, so my question for you guys this week is, what is the longest amount of time you've stayed awake. I'm asking because Ryan, James Yezik, is apparently trying to beat the world record. That's why he looks the way he does. Just kidding! Ah. Um, but seriously, answer down below. I love you guys. I'll see you next week.